Well, last year uh, you were just getting going pretty good there at the end of the season when you had that tough luck and hurt your shoulder. How's the shoulder this spring? Have you been throwing a lot? Oh, it's fine now, Ed. I've been throwing quite a bit up here in practice. Vito, what's the biggest change uh, jumping from college ball into professional football? Well, I imagine the biggest change is uh, getting used to uh, your receivers and your backs. Uh, first thing I noticed is uh, throwing the uh, football to uh, a back. You have to hit him at the right time. And as far as a quarterback's concerned, I'd say that's one of the biggest. Uh, well, Vito, you've played a lot of football in your day, uh, high school football at Rochester, Pennsylvania, college ball at the University of Kentucky, and, of course, professional football with the Green Bay Packers and now the Cleveland Browns. What do you consider your biggest thrill in football? Well, in college, Ed, my, probably my biggest thrill was playing in three uh, successive bowl games in three years at uh, University of Kentucky there. And uh, just playing pro football is a thrill to me, Ed. Well, every season when pro football comes around, uh, there's always the report that there's dirty football in, uh, uh, playing in pro football. How do you feel about that? Well, Ed, uh, actually, uh, I haven't seen any intentional uh, dirty football uh, as far as I'm concerned, but uh, they play pretty rough up there. And uh, I imagine when someone gets hit pretty hard that, uh, well, they're naturally going to fight back. And I think that's what it ends up uh, as a result, people think that, well, it's dirty football, but it's good, rough, tough football. Well, do, have you ever seen any players that perhaps carry a grudge, or are there such a thing as hatchet men on the teams, that their particular job is to go out and get out the star or the quarterback of the opposing team and put him out of commission? Well, we, as far as the Browns are concerned, Ed, we've never been told to do that. Uh, we play against uh, a lot of good passers every week, and... Uh, None of the coaches have ever said anything like that, so I wouldn't know anything about that football. And then what would you like to do in the future? Well, I'd like to play as long as I can, Ed. Uh, I enjoy playing, and uh, it's still fun to me, so until it becomes work, that's when I'll get out of it. So uh, I can't say exactly how long I'd like to play, but uh, if, uh, Lord willing, I'd like to last oh, four or five more years. Mm -hmm. Who pick as the biggest threats in the Western Division? Our biggest, uh, uh, toughest opponent, I think, is the Chicago Cardinals. Uh, they seem to be doing a lot better. They've gotten these early picks, and uh, that's one thing uh, most people don't realize. The Browns have been on top so long and uh, have been taking second and third choices as their draft picks, whereas the Cardinals were down and are getting the, the best boys out of college. So they're one of our toughest opponents uh, due to that fact. 